Hello and welcome. This is the pilot show for Technology for All. It's a show about technology for for all people. That's why we call it that. My name's Joe Somebody, and today I want to help you troubleshoot some basic uh, issues that people have with home networking and internet connectivity. Even though networking can be quite a complex subject and kind of hard to understand for certain people, it's really not that complicated to troubleshoot some of your own issues while you're at home. Believe me when I tell you, the Geek Squad and other companies in the same industry are more than happy to see you come running every time you've got a computer issue or you can't get on the internet you know, something small, but why spend the money to let them troubleshoot it if there are things that you can do at home first? Now, in most home networking environments, you have your computer, you have either your cable modem, DSL modem, and then there's the connection from there to the internet. So we're gonna kinda go through some steps to troubleshoot uh, each point of failure and to see if we can help resolve some of the issues you may be having at home. Typically, all the equipment you have at home is configured dynamically by DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Now, this is not something you really need to be aware of what it is or how it works. Just be aware that that's what is configuring all of the devices on your network and how they're going to talk to each other and get you out to the internet. If you're having problems getting to the internet for some reason, the first thing that you're going to want to check is to make sure that your computer has gotten a valid IP address from your DSL modem or cable modem. The easiest way to do this is to click the Start button in the Search Programs and Files box. Type in CMD hit enter. That's going to bring you up to what's called the command prompt. In the command prompt, what you need to type in is IPCONFIG or IPCONFIG. IPCONFIG, once you type that in and hit enter, brings back all the relevant information uh, of your network card, its IP address, what's called a subnet mask, a default gateway, and some other various information. The default gateway address is the address of your DSL modem or your uh, cable modem. That is the, the gateway to the internet, pretty much. So any traffic that your computer is trying to send or receive that's not on its local network will be sent to the default gateway, the router, and go on out to the internet. So really, the first thing you need to do is make sure that typing in ipconfig uh, brings back some information that you don't have 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 for an IP address, or a missing subnet mask, or a missing default gateway where it's completely blank. Uh, those are going to stand out as obvious problems uh, where your computer has not been correctly configured by the DHCP protocol. Assuming that you have information in those fields as I do, uh, the first thing that I would recommend is to use a command called ping, P-I-N-G. The ping command is basically a test between uh, your computer and whatever device you ping. So it's basically asking, are you there? So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our computer can talk to our default gateway, because if it can't, there's the breakdown of communication right there. So we're going to type in the command P-I-N-G space 192.168.254.254, because as you can see, that is the address of our default gateway. Now, when we type that in, we get a reply. That's good. If the uh, router, for whatever reason, was offline or we were, there was a breakdown of communication between our PC and our uh, router, that we would just have a timeout over and over again. So the fact that we've got a reply from our router lets us know that at least the connection from my PC to the router is good and so we can do a little bit further investigation. The next thing you want to do is use the ping command again to ping a website out on the internet, such as yahoo.com is one that I tend to ping a lot. So you type in ping space yahoo.com, make sure that you get a reply. Getting a reply from yahoo.com tells us that the internet connection is actually good and that our PC is able to communicate with servers out on the internet with no problem. So the issue that we're having could be software related or it could be a virus. Now we're going to co cover troubleshooting web browser issues uh, and also how to clean viruses off in some later episodes. If for any reason doing these commands doesn't render the results like you're seeing on my screen where you're not getting a reply uh, or your IP address when you did IP config your IP address came back as zeros or empty there are a couple things that you can do. Uh, one command is typing in IP config space forward slash release which will basically release the uh, dynamically configured uh, information on your network card 
and then you can type in IP config forward slash renew, which will basically ask for a new dynamic configuration. So a lot of times this can clear up issues if you've gotten say two devices on your network, your iPhone and your laptop, have both been given the same IP address by your router by mistake, they're not going to be able to get on the internet because you cannot have two devices with the same IP address on one network and have them function properly. Another thing that I find useful sometimes in troubleshooting internet connectivity or network connectivity for that matter is clicking on the start button, go to control panel, from there, if you go into Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, then you should see the different adapters that your computer has installed, which will probably look different than the ones that I have on this computer. Um, but you should see one that says local area connection or maybe wireless uh, connection if you're on a laptop with a wireless connection. Um, right click on your connection and just simply disable it. Once it's switched over to disable, right click on it again and click enable. What that does is refreshes the network card pretty much. So if there's something on it that's uh, kind of hung up, it'll, it'll you know, turn it off, turn it back on. It's the simplest solution to fixing a lot of issues with home network. That's really all I wanted to cover in this video, how to ping different things on your network, how to release and renew your IP address, and also how to disable and re-enable the network card on your computer, which are all very basic ways to help you troubleshoot some common issues in home networking and internet connectivity. I'm Joe Somebody, and this has been Technology for All.